Hello and welcome to my video. This video is about loading free gospel music styles into the Yamaha PSR E463 keyboard. Most people think of gospel music as Christian music that was first sung in black churches in America. And it is certainly true that black churches are world famous for their gospel singing. But that's not where gospel music began. Let me give you a little history lesson here. Gospel music began with the Presbyterians in 17th century Scotland of all places. And the very first Presbyterian gospel song was published in America in 1874 just 10 years after the American Civil War. Black gospel music really didn't get started until the 1930s, and thanks to radio, black gospel music swept the country within 20 years. Today, in the United States, we have black gospel, urban gospel, country gospel, and southern gospel music. If you look on your E463 keyboard over on the right, you see a list of all of the styles, and there's 245 of them, and they're organized into these 15 categories. What you do not see is gospel music styles, because there are no gospel music styles built into the E463 keyboard. Now, having said that, there are several dozen styles that I could use to play gospel music, but if you're looking specifically for gospel styles, they're not there, and that's why I made this video. I will show you 19 free gospel styles available on the internet that will play on this PSR E463 keyboard. I guarantee it because I've done it. In this video, I will show you where those gospel styles are located on the internet, and I'll show you how to get them into your E463 keyboard using a USB thumb drive. So if you don't have one of these, spend five or ten dollars and buy one. Now, I will be using my 14-year-old MacBook computer to do this, but I easily could use my six-year-old iPhone or my eight-year-old iPad to do this. My point is, you do not need the latest state-of-the-art computer technology or iPhone or I MacBook to do this. Now, if you do use an iPhone or an iPad, you're also going to need the Apple Lightning to USB 3 camera adapter. This is the little pigtail device that you use to plug an ordinary USB thumb drive into your iPhone or your iPad. You can order it online from Apple. It's somewhere between $35 and $40 if you don't have one. There are four limitations I want to get out of the way to begin with. First of all, a style must be 50K or less. And all of these, all 19 of these, are certainly less than 50K, so that's no problem. Second of all, when we load the styles onto our thumb drive, they must be on the root level of the drive. Now, for you non-technical people, what that means is you cannot put these styles inside a folder. Nothing can go on that thumb drive except the style files themselves. No folders, nothing else, just the style files. And you are limited to 150 of these styles that you can load at any one time on a USB drive. Now, I only have 19 styles that I'm talking about, so that's no problem either. And lastly is once you get the styles loaded on your thumb drive, you can only load 10 styles at a time into the 10 memory slots on the E463 keyboard. And I'll talk about that in, a, in more details in just a moment. 
So where are the Gospel Styles web pages on the internet? Well, this is the URL, and I will put this, I'll list this web page URL in the comments below this video. So you'll just, all you'll have to do is click on it with your mouse or your finger, and you'll be able to go right to the page. Let me preview for you what it's going to look like. This is what it looks like when we first get here. It's a very long page. This is the top half. This is the bottom half of the page. And I'm going to do all of this live in just a moment so you can actually watch me do it. I just want to preview where we're headed. So once we get to this page, we're going to scroll all the way down to the very bottom because what we want is way down here in table three. So we're looking for table three and specifically we're looking for i.zip. Now, how do I know that this is the right thing to use? Because up here in this table, John Vernon explains exactly what is inside each of these zip files. And when you read it, right here you see the word gospel. Aha! Gospel styles. And those are in zip I. So all we're going to do is go down here to table 3 and look for the I. And we're going to click on this with our mouse. And what we will do is we will download these styles into the hard drive of our Macintosh. And once I've done that, then I will move the styles onto my thumb drive. And I'll do all of that live in just a moment. Once we have them on the thumb drive, then what we have to do is plug the thumb drive into our keyboard and we will transfer 10, that's the maximum, 10 of these files from the thumb drive into the 10 memory locations on the keyboard. And page 75 of your owner's manual explains exactly how to do this. And here are those instructions. I've got good news if you don't know or don't like reading detailed instructions. I made a video. I have a YouTube and it's titled Loading Free Styles into a PSR E463 Keyboard. So you can go and watch this video and it will explain in great detail exactly how to load these styles off of the thumb drive and get them into those 10 memory locations in your keyboard. Watch this video if you don't know how to do that. Now I am going to actually play 10 of those styles so you can hear what they sound like. And uh, I listened to all of them and I chose 10. And here are the names of those styles. Once again, you can only load 10 styles at a time into the 10 memory slots, which are numbered 236 to 245, on your keyboard. And here you see, looking at the screen of my keyboard, in memory slot 236, I have pound gospel. So I have loaded this style into memory slot 236 on my keyboard. And I can do that 10 times. So all 10 of these have been loaded into the 10 memories. And once again, if you don't know how to do that, go watch my video. I explain it. Now, mostly what I want you to hear is I want you to hear what these styles sound like. But I'm going to play some gospel songs. So I went out on the research and uh, I looked at several dozen uh, pages that talked about the most popular gospel songs in the world. And um, I chose ten. The Old Rugged Cross, Amazing Grace, Just a Closer Walk with Thee, Abide with Me, Peace in the Valley, Take My Hand, Precious Lord, Tell It on the Mountain, Swing Low, Sweet Chariot, Give Me That Old Time Religion, and What a Friend We Have in Jesus. 
These 10 gospel songs appear on dozens and dozens of lists of the all-time great gospel songs in the world. I chose these because I know them all. I, I play all of my music by ear, so I have to know the song in my heart and in my mind to be able to play it. I grew up playing all 10 and, or singing all 10 of these songs in the church where I grew up. So that's why I chose this. So I'll start by letting you listen to the style, and then I will choose one of these songs to play with that style. So let's go live and download the gospel style files into the Mac, and then I'll transfer those into the USB thumb drive. Here we are on the desktop of my Macintosh, and I'm going to start by launching the John Vernon collection of styles. This is what it looks like when you first come into the page. And what we have to do is we have to scroll down. So I'm going to grab the scroll bar, scroll all the way down to the bottom. The only styles that will work in our E463 are those in Table 3. And you can download any and all of these. There's over 2,000 of them here. And these, these are the ones that work in the little E463 keyboard. All we're interested in is I, because these are this is the zip that has the country styles in it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the I zip. And you'll see a little animation showing that zip file being downloaded into my Macintosh. Ready? Click. There it goes. You see that little animation. All right, we're done with this. So I'm going to leave the website. And now I'm going to take you down into the download folder of my Macintosh. And sure enough, here is the folder we just downloaded. So when I clicked on i.zip, it downloaded this folder into the download folder of my Mac. Let me open it up so you can see what's inside of it. Ready? Click, click. It turns out he has organized these files into six different categories. Ballad, blues, folk, gospel, rhythm and blue, and soul. All I'm interested in for the purpose of this video is the gospel. So let me take this and just drag it out onto my desktop. Now I'm going to close that up. Let me open it up so you can see what's inside. And here are the 19 gospel styles. And you can see over here that uh, they're all small. The, the biggest one I can find is a uh, 37K. That's the biggest one. And the smallest is 7K. Remember my uh, four conditions? A style file has to be less than 50K. Anything over 50K is too big and it will not play in this little keyboard. So all of these styles are less than 50K. All right, what I need to do is I need to get these styles onto my thumb drive. So 
I've already plugged my thumb drive into my Macintosh, and here it is. It's called No Name, and I'm going to click on it to open it up and show you there is nothing in the thumb drive right now. So what I'm going to do is go over here to the downloaded folder. I'm going to select everything. You could do it one at a time. I'm going to do them all at the same time. And with my mouse, I'm going to go click, drag, drop. So I have just transferred all of those gospel styles into the thumb drive which is plugged into my Macintosh. Now what I'll do is I will take this thumb drive, plug that into the back of my E463 keyboard, and I will transfer 10, 10 of these styles, and put them in the 10 memory locations of my keyboard. And once again, there's a YouTube video I made about nine months ago that explains exactly how to do this. So let's go now live to my keyboard. When we go to my keyboard, I have already loaded 10 of those styles off of the thumb drive, and I have put them in the 10 memory locations of my keyboard. So that's already done. I will be all ready to start playing the minute I sit down at the keyboard. Let's go to the E463 and let's listen to 10 of these gospel styles. So here we are at the E463 keyboard. I have already loaded the 10 gospel styles into the 10 memory locations of my keyboard. Each one of these styles has two introductions, and they're lettered A and B. A is always the more simpler of the two. Also, each of these styles have two endings, A and B, and B is always the longer and the more complicated. And each of these styles have two variations labeled A and B. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to start every one of the ten songs with intro B which is the more complicated and typically the longer one. And when I start playing the songs, I will switch back and forth between variation A and B, and I'll tell you when I press the key to switch from A and B. And I will always end with variation B on all 10 of the songs, okay? So the first one is Pound Gospel. Variation A. Variation B. Next is Carrot Gospel.
long ending. All right. Next is 68 Gospel. Next is Gospel W.
Next is Gospel 3. Next is C Gospel. Next is Gospel Shipped.
religion. Next. is Gospel Waltz. And the song is Take My Hand, Precious Lord. Next is Go Tell. And this one's kind of a custom one. This one is specifically written for Go Tell It on the Mountain. So let me get set up here. This one's a little different. Version A and version B are identical. So there's really on one, only one version. one is Gospel 07. And what I've been doing is I've been transposing each song so we don't have to listen to every song in the key of C. And uh, one of the classic all-time gospel songs, Swing Low, Sweet Chariot.
really big ending. So that is uh, 10 gospel styles pulled off of the internet, put onto a thumb drive, pulled into the 10 internal memories of the keyboard. Now, do I think that every one of those styles was the perfect style for the song that I played? Absolutely not. I mean, some of these styles, I could have played six or seven of the songs on one style. So it really is up to you. Uh, and that's one of the beautiful things about uh, having an instrument like this is you are absolutely free to experiment and to play a song unlike anyone else has ever played it, maybe in the whole wide world. And that's the joy of uh, a synthesizer. You are a one-person orchestra. I hope you found this useful. If so, leave me a note. And I want to thank you for watching, and be well.